Welcome to Hondo's Martial Philosophy. This is where we discuss topics related to martial arts, self-defense, and fighting. I'm your host, Hondo, and as always, this is not a one-way conversation. I want to hear back from you in the comments down below or on Twitter at the one Hondo. This video's topic is going to be about the real problem with traditional martial arts. Right off the bat here, I want to say that the definition of traditional martial arts is not set in stone. It's still argued about today. There is no denotative definition, however, there is a commentative definition. If you were to Google martial art right now, you're probably going to find something that talks about fighting art, fighting systems of Asian, Japanese, or Chinese origin. That's clearly not the definition of martial art, but there are many hundreds, thousands of martial arts from Europe, from South America, all of them are not of Asian origin. However, when I say traditional martial arts in this video, I'm talking specifically about arts that are made popular in America and in the West. In fact, when Bruce Lee came over here in the 60s and 70s and became a movie star, he made popular uh, the Chinese martial arts and the Asian martial arts, and there was this entire uproar of martial arts fame and the spotlight was put on to the Asian arts. If you were to ask somebody randomly on the street who isn't particularly a martial artist, list a couple of martial arts, they're more than likely going to say karate, taekwondo, or kung fu, which are of Asian origin. When I say traditional martial art and what I'm talking about in this video are the arts that are popular in America that a lot of people go to, a lot of people take with their children, a lot of people take in their later lives as adults and train and call themselves a martial artist, particularly schools with a belt ranking system. A lot of people think that the problem with traditional martial arts is that they just don't work. But if you were in a situation on the street, you could not actually perform the moves and they would not work. I'm arguing that that's actually not the case. The problem that I see with traditional martial arts is the way that they are trained. What the schools have to do in order to retain students, their belt ranking system and all of those things, I feel those are the problem with traditional martial arts. Not the history, not the culture, not the actual techniques, but how the techniques and the training and the history has to be watered down to cater to a Western audience. The way that martial arts were actually trained before, thousands of years ago, is completely different from the way martial arts are trained today. Today you go to class about three times a week, maybe four times a week, you have about an hour's worth of time going through different motions as the sensei or the sifu or the instructor calls out different types of punches. That's how it's trained today. And people do that for about an hour at the most, and then they leave, go home, rarely ever touch it again. Over time, they learn different forms and they test to get up in rank or get to the next color of belt. That is never going to make you an efficient fighter. That's not going to have you actually master an art or be able to apply it. Now, many people think because of these different facts that uh, boxing or MMA are superior and more efficient than traditional martial arts. That's not particularly the case at all. The problem is mainly in how they train. If you look at how a boxer trains, versus how a, a practitioner of karate trains. The boxer's training is superior. The boxer puts himself in this situation, develops strength, develops speed, actually goes up against other opponents, other boxers, makes themselves physically strong. In many cases, I've seen a practitioner of Taekwondo or karate go test for their belt. They pass the test, so they go up in the system but at the same time, they're still physically weak. They can move, but they're still physically weak and their cardio is down. You cannot be an efficient fighter if you do not train your body to be stronger. It, the simple fact of the matter is that the way these martial arts are trained does not set up the students for success. You need to train to be in a combative situation in order to apply the techniques to a combative situation. Simply going through forms isn't gonna do that. Simply training three times a week is not going to do that for you. I would argue that the traditional martial arts, the ones that are popular, the techniques that exist in them are a bit more versatile than simply throwing punches. But simply throwing punches trumps those traditional techniques because of how they're trained. When a boxer or an MMA fighter trains, they train to be in an actual fight. That doesn't happen in traditional martial arts these days. There's actually going to be a part two to this video because I want to keep all my videos nice and short, but there's more to talk about on this subject. So. With that, currently, do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments down below or on Twitter at the one Hondo. Please like and subscribe for more videos every day, and I'll see you in the next video.